Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at um, making the AI go to the location that it last s s uh, spotted you at. So looking here, I have this sort of zigzag path uh, through this kind of maze thing I've created here. So if the zombie were chasing me down here and I were to run around this corner, the last place he would see me would be here. Uh, so if I was to hide again here, then the zombie would approach here, realize that, oh wait a minute, he's gone and then would go back to choosing a random lo roam location so that would just pick anywhere and it would start heading in that direction um, so yeah let's go ahead and get started on that so let's fire up the tree first of all and from our tree off our select and uh, we're actually going to need to create a, um, a composite and we're going to have a sequence I think yep a sequence um, and off that sequence we're going to come down to this so this is stuff that was already created uh, we're going to need to go ahead and create a new task using the blueprint base and as always we're going to come out and rename that to go to last known location tut okay so inside this go to last known location tut we can start out as always with an event receive execute and off this execute we're going to cast to tut controller and we're going to get the controlled pawn we'll need that in a moment we also need to just take a minute here to make a variable of type uh, blackboard key selector and we're going to name this one um, bb player location key okay compile that make that public um, and while we're here we need to actually we need to take a moment to step out into the blackboard to create a new key of type boolean and we're going to name this recently cited okay so let's save that head on back into our go to last known location tut and we are going to take off this execute pin and create an AI move to. The pawn is going to be our controlled pawn and we're going to grab a reference to the variable we just created and we're going to get blackboard value as vector and plug that vector into the destination. So we're going to make this uh, the player location which we have stored up here. See here player location um, and we're also going to need another variable and we're going to name this one uh, BB um, recently cited key. Compile that, make it public again. So after our move to on success, we're going to get that and we're going to set a blackboard value as bool. And we want to make sure that's false and compile that. And of course we want to end that with a finish execute and tick the success box. So that's our go to last known location done, but we just need a little bit more logic in here. So going over now to our controller, you'll see I've actually already gone ahead and done this, but we'll go ahead and do this again, just to demonstrate this. Uh, I'll keep these just for easiness. So coming off, this is what you'll already have where you basically, um, when your perception updated you get whether you can see the player or not we're going to come off this into a branch and the condition for our branch will be the successfully sensed so if we can no longer see the player we're going to need a variable over here of type uh, blackboard key selector and we're going to name this one uh, bb player location key and we're going to need another blackboard key selector and we're going to name this one BB recently cited key. Compile both of those and make those both public. So the player location key, we want to get that and we want to set val. Um, so we want to set. Uh, okay, what's going on here? can't seem to see my vector um, 
Oh, that's what it is. I need to take a reference to the blackboard. So I'm going to carry on using this get blackboard value over here, and I'm going to do a set value as vector. Plug this into the false. So we only want to record its location if we can no longer see it. Um, the key name, we're going to make a literal name. Just drag off that and type make literal name. Uh, and you're going to set that to be player location or whatever you have named your player location key on your blackboard. Plug that into key. And the vector value is going to be, we're going to get the, uh, what do we need to do? We need to get the player character and get the actor location and plug that into here. So we might not actually need that just yet. So continuing off that, on the same blackboard, we want to set value as bool. And we want the boolean to be true. And this boolean is gonna be, so the key we want to do is recently cited. So when we lose sight of the player, what's happening here is we're doing our thing and when we lose sight of the player, so this would be gain sight and this is lose sight. So when we lose sight of the player, we're going to get the actor's location and we're gonna set that to our player location. And we're also going to set the recently cited. So that implies that it's no longer cited, but has recently been cited. We're gonna set that to true. So let's compile that and head on back to our behavior tree. So now we can right click, head on down to tasks and go to last known location tut is the one we've just created. And we'll drag off this new sequence into here. Now our keys, so we didn't actually use any keys, did we? Um, go to last known location tut. We used the blackboard value to set it to false. So it got set to true inside the controller and it gets set to false inside here. So this location key, oh, sorry, that is used as well. So the player location key will be our player location and the recently cited key will be our recently cited. We now just need to add a decorator of type blackboard and we're just gonna check whether recently cited is set. We only wanna do this if we have recently spotted the player. So, I th believe that's everything. Let's go and go to test and take a look at what's actually going on here. So this guy sees me, he starts running over. But if I use that little zigzag here, his last known location was that corner and he might have just spotted me. I'm gonna scooch around some and see if I can sneak up on him. So he's sort of lost where I was, but he came to this corner where he thought I was. Um, so I'm gonna try this again. I do have F bound to destroy actor, which is my actor. So I'm gonna just run around the corners, hit F, shift F1, pause, eject, and see where he is. So what's he doing right now? We can click on him, we can fire up the tree, and we can see that his recently cited is now false. So he's obviously clearly done this bit now. Whoops. And it looks like he's gonna head on out and just continue roaming now. So bring this tree back over here. You can see that he's finished that sequence and he's gone back to roaming. Let's just stop that, hit play again, and see whether we can see that blueprint node fire off. So yep, it's already there. He's gone and carried on looking. So he's lost me again and again, and now he couldn't find me, so he's gone back to doing his roam over here. So that's how we get it to run to the location where he last saw you before going ahead and continuing with his roam. So that's going to wrap up this tutorial, guys. I hope you found this one useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Check out the Discord server. Lots of great conversation going on in there. And if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and let me leave, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.